Hi, welcome to Programming by Zord. Uh, in this video lecture, we are going to discuss about introduction to distributed data processing. So, uh, having different databases file located at different sites in a network is known as distributed data processing. Uh, I have created a figure to explain the concept. There we have a user and then we have data. Your user is accessing data and data is coming from multiple databases. That could be either database 1, database 2, database 3. No matter which database file is uh, giving data to the user. But user is able to retrieve the data successfully. So uh, this comes in uh, the category of distributed data processing. Next we have a couple of advantages and disadvantages of distributed data processing. First of all I am going to look at uh, advantages of distributed data processing. So uh, first of all the first advantage is users won't interfere with each other while accessing the data. Mean to say is that when a user is going to visit and access or manipulate any data uh, he will get the data from his nearest location and in such a way that uh, the multiple users will not interfere with each other. And this also uh, will provide us speed processing because the files will be accessed from nearest location the speed will be enhanced. And the next advantage is if one side fails the system still can run because if uh, one site that is providing distributed database uh, gets crashed or if something happens to that site then other site will probably provide the data to that specific user so in this way the system can still run next we have it reduce the cost dramatically because shared desktop systems will perform uh, you know uh, very well instead of a mainframe system and the proficiency of these systems will be uh, obviously much uh, greater than the simple mainframe system. Next we have uh, ability to share the data across multiple servers because we will have uh, different desktop systems uh, working as servers so we have ability to share the data across those all nodes. So uh, in such a way that uh, the data can be accessed for every user easily. Next we have disadvantages of distributed data processing. The first one is uh, synchronizing multiple database files take more time and hence this will result in slow processing as well. Uh, data replication because same data will be placed in different database files so uh, data replication comes in here as a disadvantage of distributed data processing and the third one is difficulty in controlling information sources because we will control a huge network of distributed database processing nodes in order to provide the efficient information to our users so uh, this also becomes a disadvantage in case of distributed data processing hope you guys have enjoyed learning here and uh, hope it helps you thanks for watching please subscribe to my channel thanks